and they're off. Untidy start, wedding bowls didn't get away too well. Conceded about three lanes coming out of the gates. One of the first to break his mid-wicket pushes forward, allowing Expedition South a nice run against the rail in second, the early part. My Only Weakness tracks the pace in the green and white against the rail. Then comes Pocket Dow in the yellow. They followed by Timeline. After them to Time in Paris, one off the fence. And December Dawn is ripping around runners, going to improve. And from midfield to second through the corner of the track, Little Lexi's in the black and white. Then came White Waters in the blue and gold, being tracked by Analytic. And then comes Blind Faith. De Rosa one from last in the slow starting wedding bells must be racing a good 10 to 12 lengths off the leader as they work their way towards the top of the straight mid wicket is awfully green around the turn but will bring them into the home straight as the leader by about a length and a half December dawn races in second then third place is Expedition South in the Aquamarine my only weakness made a run towards the inside rail being followed by timeline out after those is pocket dialed towards the outside time in Paris trying to get into the race with white waters little Lexi's in between horses analytic de Rossa they further back now with 2.50 left to run. My only weakness. Pocket dial second. Then comes Timeline and Analytic towards the far side. Blind Fate, Little Lexi. White Waters nearest us. They all over the track with 50 metres left to run. My only weakness. White Waters pocket dial. My only weakness just got there. Over White Waters pocket dial. Fourth may have just gone the way of Wedding Bulls who came from last. So the winner. Where is the winner? The winner's... Four off the right-hand side. Certainly does not end in that lane, though. Starts to uh, lug outwards, does number one. My only weakness. Two off the left-hand side as White Waters put up her best run to date. Pocket dial there and thereabouts. And got quite close and got into the race and had some sort of prayer going into the final 200 metres. But my only weakness, not winning out of turn, gets out the maidens today. Race number three will be the first leg of the place accumulator here at Hollywood Bets Durbanville. That gets underway at 5-1. to one. There's also the second from Turfentine that'll start there by pot not too far from now. Right, so if you took the 14 to 10, you can breathe. Grant Fonikak has been able to get this one over the line. A big well done to Adam Marcus. Looked to be the right horse on paper. Number one, my only weakness. A big well done to Mr. M and Mrs. R. Harris. And this one was bred by the Fast 17 stud farm. I am joined by Adam Marcus. Well done, Eddie. Uh, good to see you as always. I know that uh, you've given your horses a bit of time after that torrential rain that we had a couple of months back. Um, she won a good race today. Yeah, she did. Uh, my son nearly had a heart attack. Okay. But um, she is a filly that's progressing, but there's still so much more to come from her. I think mentally she's still immature. Her bum's still way up in the air, so she's going to grow a lot more. Uh, and I'm just delighted to get this win under her belt. I don't think Durbanville will be her main track. I think she'll love Kenilworth, the summer course. Uh, but just a big thanks to Granty for getting her over the line today. And it's my first winner for Mike and Ree overseas. Uh, just really, really grateful for their support. And uh, we've got some beautiful stock coming through. So delighted and hopefully the first of many more. Eddie, your reason for dropping her back in trip, is it a case of not seeing out a mile or is she just not strong enough just yet? I actually entered her in the mile and the 14. This was the open 14 and Grant and I discussed it and we thought this is the right race for her and she just had a tendency to over race over the mile last time. So I think the pace on today helped her. Um, but I do think she's a filly that once she learns how to race, she will be looking for further. Hampstead, Heath and Oliver, two big runners today. Yeah, Ollie he always gives 110%. I think Vaughan's horse uh, looks quite hard to beat there, uh, but he loves running out horses, so we'll give it a go. And Hampstead, Heath, I'm really excited to see her with a little bit of weight off her back. She's a big, strong filly, um, and Grant's on her as well, and she's doing exceptionally well at home, so I think she'll be competitive. Eddie, not going to run too far. I know the owners aren't with us today, but if you'll just accept those flowers awesome. on behalf uh, of Cape Racing, thank you very much, awesome. Ads. Congratulations. There we go. That's uh, Adam Marcus, the winning Conditioner. Lovely to have Grant for Nikak starting the day off with a bang as well. Well done, Granty. Nervous moments. They were coming from everywhere. Any reason for her running out so badly? Um, limited. <laughs> Not much to say. Uh, you know, she's, uh, you know, she needs to bump this side of the type of fields. I think, you know, the handicappers won't be to Ash, you know. Um, you know, she could pick up one or two along the way if, if in the right races. Um, of course, as I said, it's uh, obviously Durban as well suited Philly, so... Um, yeah, she just hung under pressure, and uh, last time I thought the mile was a little bit too far. She does have a tendency to over, overdo it a little bit, so today was perfect for her. You got a good run. Obviously, you're a little bit slow, maybe a half a length slow into stride, but uh, she ended up, looked like, well relaxed in behind runners. Yeah, no, she was. Um, look, she um, just had a lead a little bit uh, twisted to the one side as the pins opened, so might, might have cost a little bit, but um, 
look, she, she managed to get the job done today. Hopefully she can go on with this and obviously the owners and Adam, everyone involved. Thanks so much. Quickly, Granty, I've spoken to Eddie about the rest of uh, the horses that you'll be riding for him. That was Rapidash, big runner today. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I think Dean Kadame has got the horses to beat in that race. Um, but Rapidash, he's had a phenomenal prep run and obviously he, he won that race. So, um, just how much he's uh, come on since then. Um, he's a horse that has a lot of class about him. I'm quite excited to see how he does in, in the in the season coming up. So that will be a nice test for him. Um, but as I said, I think um, Kana Mays will beat him. Well done, Granty. Thank you. Good stuff. There we go. Grant for Nikak. He started off with a bang. He's got some lovely rides a bit later on, so we wish him all the best. Number one, my only weakness, starts the bar port off here at Hollywood Bets Durbanville very well. Even though the margin was just a short head, 14 to 10 was the price, and I thought she won well enough. She'll obviously get better and stronger with more racing, and hopefully this will bring on that confidence. Well done again to the owners, to Mr. M and Mr. R. Harris. A massive congratulations.